Brian Sensei here. Have you ever tried to download digital music that you purchased through Amazon Music only to find out that you can't download it? Well, that might be because you need to authorize the computer that you're trying to download too. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so here I am on the Amazon Music website, music.amazon.com. This is where I can browse music, purchase music, and listen. Now, I'm gonna go over here to my library where my purchased music is. All right, we'll go to songs. And so, say I'm browsing my songs and I decide, hey, I would like to download one of these songs to my computer. Well, to do that, you come over to the far right, you click the More menu, and you're going to see the download option. Now, what might happen to you is you might see that the download option is grayed out, or it's not even there, or you click on it and you're unable to download the song. All we have to do is download and install the Amazon Music Desktop Player. Once you do that, the computer you're using will automatically be authorized for download. Okay, so to install the Amazon Music Desktop app, we're gonna open the Microsoft Store. There we go. In the Microsoft Store, we're going to search for Amazon Music. And you'll see it here, Amazon Music app. And here it is, we'll go ahead and click Install. All right, here you can click open to open the app. You can also search for it. Here it is, Amazon Music. Here you'll need to sign in with your Amazon account. All right, once you're signed in to the desktop app, your computer will automatically be authorized. Now, you might be asking, how can I check which computers are authorized and which aren't? And what if I want to deauthorize a device? Okay, to do that, you're going to come back over to Amazon Music in the browser. You're going to click on the gear settings at the top right, and you're going to go to your Amazon Music settings. All right, and then scroll down and you're going to see manage your devices. Notice here that up to 10 devices can be authorized to your music library account. So down here, you're going to see the list of devices. You'll see here that I have three devices that are currently authorized. So I have 10 more slots available. This is the current computer that I am working on right now. So Brian's Windows PC. You can see here the date that it was added. And notice off here to the right, you can actually deauthorize a device if you no longer use it, maybe you sold it to someone else, whatever the case, this gives you that opportunity to deauthorize, especially if you've used up all 10 of your device slots and you need to make room for some more. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.